Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the efficient, correct and safe use of ladders. Let's get into it. First type of ladder that we're going to look at is an A-frame ladder. A-frame because when we open it out, it looks like an A. Okay? When we open out the A-frame ladder, we have to make sure that the brace here is locked into position so that the ladder doesn't collapse. We also have to make sure that the ladder is nice and clean on the outside. If we are using this in a uh, electrical situation and there's grease on the outside, then grease, water, any type of, lots of types of liquids are going to act as a conductor for electricity and that's dangerous, we don't want that. We should also check that the feet are in good condition, feet of the ladder are in good condition and it doesn't slip, okay? We should also ensure, in terms of electrical work, that the, the, um, the uprights of the ladder are fiberglass or timber. Fiberglass is generally better than timber because timber can be impregnated with oil or water and that will be a danger as well. So how do we place the ladder? Let's say I've, I'm going up to do a job up here, right? I want to place the ladder in a position so that I'm not either leaning back or so that I'm not leaning forward. So it's locked in, I've placed the ladder, it's relatively stable. When I send the ladder, I want to make sure that I've got three points of contact at all times. Two hands, one foot, two feet, one hand. I'm at the job now. I've got three points of contact at all times, two feet, one hand on the ladder. I haven't brought up any tools at this point in time, but I also have to plan what tools I need to take to do the job. I am not above, there's a rung just here, don't go above this rung. If you are too high on the ladder, then you become unbalanced and you can fall over, over rather easily. If I'm doing the job, I need to use both hands. What I tend to do is lean into the ladder and use my knees, feet to grip the ladder, okay? I do the work up here. Once I've finished the work, I descend the ladder. Okay, it's also good to have someone to spot you to have someone there as your safety person. Let's say you're up a ladder, you fall backwards for some reason and you're on your own, you hit your head, you pass out, you're gone. So if someone's there to help out, they can keep you safe. Make sure you read the safety instructions on the ladder whenever you use it. Keep an eye on the uh, mass that it's rated for. This one, it's domestic and it'll hold 100 kilograms. And, um, that's about it. I can't think of anything else at the moment. If I do, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching.